Hello guys, welcome to our programming tips. In this video, we will learn how to get the frequency of NAs while using table function. Basically, table function builds a contingency table of the counts at each combination of factor levels. So let's generate one frequency table. I'm going to use a data set called my data. You will not find this data. I have actually created this data from a CO2 data set which is present in R. So if I run this, you will see that for two factors, I have got the frequency 41 and 40. Now if I want to include, let me copy this. Now if I want to also know the frequency of NA values, the argument is use NA and you say always. Always and press enter. So you can see that now it gives me the frequency of NA values in this. Now this use NA can take another two different arguments or basically values. One of which is no. So when I say this, it excludes the frequency of NAs. It will not include NA while building the table. The other one is if any. Now if you provide if any, what it does is if if there is an NA, then it will generate a table including NAs. If there are no NAs, it will not include NA frequency in this. So let me show you what I mean by this. In this case, I'm going to make use of empty cast data set. And I'm going to look cylinder variables. We know that there are no missing values in this. And if I give if any and say control enter, you see it does, it will not include NAs. Whereas if I would have provided, so let me copy this. Whereas if I would have provided always, you see that it will still count give me another column for NA and the count is zero in this particular case because we don't have any NA values for empty cars uh, cylinder variable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.